Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I wanted to do a video on some of my kind of vintage Gerbers. Um, all three of these were handed down to me by my father. Uh, so we've got the Mark I, the Mark II, and this is gonna be um, the Gerber Paul knife. We'll start out with this one since it's the first one I took out. So you can see it's a small folding pocket knife. And it's got a pretty classic look. Uh, some wood scales. Very gentlemanly looking knife. Hopefully you guys can see all the details there. So let's see. There we go. So there's there's the patent number for the locking mechanism. And there it says Gerber USA. So this is a, a very different type of locking mechanism. You squeeze this right here on the pivot, fold it up. So you see it says Paul. It's the model 2PW, I guess. So you'd squeeze that, rotate the blade out. It's obviously not a tactical knife, but it's a cool, cool vintage folder. I don't know a whole lot else about the steel on this one. Uh, my father owned it for quite some time. Uh, I remember this knife all the way back to when I was a kid. I remember him showing me this knife. I always thought it was pretty cool. Uh, a few years ago, he gifted it to me, uh, which I really thought was awesome. Uh, I obviously don't carry it. It just kind of sits in my collection, but I do love this knife a lot. And like I said, I remember, I remember seeing all these from when I was a, a, a small kid. So my dad owned all these for... 30 plus years um, I'm 37 and like I said I, I some of my first memories of knives were of these three particular knives so this is going to be the Gerber Mark 1 this is kind of a boot style dagger so you got a little thumb snap on the sheath there so you can tell this this thing's been carried some uh, it's seen some use it's obviously not a pristine pristine knife, but uh, it's in pretty good shape considering the age. This thing's pretty cool. It's very classic looking, uh, very, very retro, kind of a, a classic boot knife dagger design. Really cool. Not a very practical knife. <laughs> You're not going to be you know, you wouldn't want to put your thumb there to cut anything. Um, it's not a super practical design, but it's very stabby, very cool. I'm not sure what these are going for these days, but you can still find them around in pretty good condition. I don't know, again, I don't know a lot of details about the steel or anything like that. I'm not a specialist in vintage Gerbers, but I've had these for a little while now, and these will stay with me forever and hopefully I'll pass these down uh, when I die just like my dad passed them down to me when he passed away so that's the mark one this one's gonna be the mark two so this one's in a little bit better shape uh, being that it's such a big knife it obviously didn't really get carried much kind of sat around there's the serial number so uh, I believe this one is tool steel I think these are both tool steel um, but I'm not I'm not 100% so you can see there's the serrations on both sides double-edged uh, this thing's pretty cool you can see the the handles got a nice fat palm swell there this is obviously kind of a, a trench style dagger. Um, it's not a utility knife. This is pretty much meant for uh, stabbing and, and fighting. So again, <laughs> this thing didn't get really ever carried since neither me or my father served or anything like that. But um, this was a, kind of a military style fighting knife, very classic design. Uh, my father gave this to me as a gift when I was, I want to say I was 17 or 18. I might It might have been for my 18th birthday, uh, but he owned it uh, for quite some time before that. 
here's the sheath it's got Gerber stamped in it nice leather sheath so these have been in my collection for a long time and they're gonna stay with me forever so on this sheath you can see it's got the uh, I believe this is the Alice for or the hooks for Alice clips or for um, the Alice style mounts for a belt um, and then this would obviously be like a leg strap we'd tie that around your leg it does have a belt loop here so and then I believe my my dad added this so you could loop that over I don't know if that was a factory option or not that seems like something my dad probably would have done just add that little little loop there give you some extra security but pretty cool knives I do believe that my dad actually carried this one for some time probably in the 70s if I had to take a guess could be wrong on that though he's now passed away so I can't ask him anymore which is unfortunate but I know he had these for a long time I saw him my whole childhood growing up I remember seeing these knives and I remember every once in a while I'd ask him to take a look at it and he'd take one out of his drawer in his dresser show me um, I wouldn't say let me play with it but he'd let me let me hold them that kind of thing I was always curious about knives when I was a kid my whole life growing up my dad always had cool knives that's kind of where I got my fascination from and my love for knives same thing with guns he passed that on to me so that's why I love guns and knives all because of my father I'm sure that's where most people get their their love for guns and knives all right guys thanks for tuning in and I appreciate you taking the time to let me share my vintage Gerber collection with you guys and kind of go over some knives that have a lot of history and a lot of sentimental value to myself and show you some cool some cool vintage stuff I hope you appreciated it and I hope you found it interesting uh, if you did like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.